Hey guys, what's up? It's JR Cuber, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Yushin Huanglong 3x3. So this is Yushin's flagship 3x3, and it comes in at a mid-range price of $18 for the base version. The little magic is still Yushin's budget cube, with the Huanglong being the more expensive premium cube. The magnetic one is $25 and comes with ball bearings in the corners, which I'll talk about a bit later. So this cube can pretty much be summarized in three main points. It's light, it's smooth, and it's fast. So let's go ahead and break that down a little bit. So the base Huanglong weighs 70 grams with the magnetic one being 76 grams. That makes these cubes some of the lightest on the market, even more than the Gan Air line, which is pretty impressive, but some people, myself included, might not be a very big fan of this. I tend to prefer heavier cubes myself, and it's not that the Huanglong feels flimsy, but it just doesn't have that heft that I prefer in my cubes. That's definitely a preference thing though, and I have gotten used to it over time. It was just a little bit weird when I was transitioning to this cube from the Yushin Little Magic, even though the little magic is only two grams heavier. I think a lot of that light feeling really comes from the turning, which is incredibly smooth and buttery. I'm not kidding when I say that this cube is probably in the top three smoothest cubes I have ever used before, especially the non-magnetic one. The cube just glides with such a buttery, silky feeling. It's really incredible. There is one potential downside to this, and it's not even really a downside. It's just more something I've been thinking about, and I can't quite figure out how to say it, but it's almost like this cube feels a little bit boring. Like it's just got this really vanilla feeling. Like there isn't much character to the turning, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Like objectively, the turning is really good, but there's just something about it that almost makes it not all that interesting to use. I guess something like that. I'm not really totally sure. It definitely does have really good turning. And if you're looking for a smooth cube, this is definitely going to be your best bet. Also go ahead and show you guys just some raw turning so you guys can get an idea of what the cube sounds like as well. The Huanglong is also ridiculously fast. It could very well be uncontrollable for a lot of people as this cube does require a lighter turning style. I actually don't have that many problems controlling the cube myself, and I really do appreciate the extra speed when I need to spam some turns. This is the fastest cube I've tried in a good while, and it's definitely the fastest of the current 3x3 flagship lineup, so just keep that in mind. Another thing that can affect the speed and controllability of this puzzle is the ball bearings in the corners. So the ball bearings are meant to add angular momentum to the turns, making them even faster. Personally, I find the ball bearings to kind of make the turns feel more even, if that makes any sense. Like the weight distribution is more equalized throughout the entire piece. It definitely does put some more momentum on the outside of the cube though, so it can cause overshooting. So if you get this cube and you do think it's a little bit too uncontrollable, you might consider removing the ball bearings. I've decided to leave mine in, however, because I do think it provides a pretty unique feel. The magnet strength is also really great. I wanted to point that out. It's not too strong or light. It's pretty much just right in the sweet spot for me. Other aspects of performance are also on point. Corner cutting is of course great, as you would expect. Other things like popping, of course, never happens, corner twisting, locking, those things are all pretty minimal too. I actually do lock up kind of often on last layer, but that has gone down the more I practice with this cube and get used to the speed. So overall, the Huanglong is a pretty great cube. I definitely would have preferred something a little bit heavier and maybe something with a little bit more of an interesting feel. But if you guys like light, smooth, fast cubes, then that's exactly what this is. So you're probably going to be very, very happy with it. Overall, I have pretty neutral feelings on this cube. I don't love it or hate it, but it's a very serviceable cube that suits my needs pretty well. I probably will end up maining it because I just like the speed so much anyways. The little magic is feeling a little bit slow after using the Huanglong for a while. Anyways, that's about all I've got to say on the Yushin Huanglong 3x3. If you guys do want to purchase this cube, the links will be down in the description below as always. Thanks of course to the Cubicle for sending me this cube for free to review and also for sponsoring the video. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button, turn on notifications, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.